wyvern. A shadowy wyvern. And upon the back of it, William. He appears to be wearing the armor you saw him in the first time. The dark, dark plate mail. And he appears to carry a spear this time. And, but he doesn't wear the helmet you saw him in first. Instead, you just see him, his normal face. But where um, Yuri had shot him is now an eye patch over the eye. Uh -huh. And I he see. looks... And he looks at you and says, All right, listen to me now. I'll make a proposal to you, monster hunters. I'm sorry, you'll have to speak up. I can't hear Cyclopses. You... you surrender now, and I will not do anything more. You all will be arrested, and your city will be safe. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, uh, William, what this, this word surrender, what does that mean? Yeah, I you know you know what that means. Perception. I Yuri, know you know what that means. Yuri, shoot him in the other eye. Okay, we're gonna go on initiative. <laughs> As... Yuri, give him our response. <laughs> Yuri, uh, hold on a second, I need to adjust something, because Yuri would be going before William. Alright. <laughs> Last time on Secrets of Monster Island, our monster hunters had ventured in the Healing Lagoon, and... After being claimed as traitors, basically, um, you all met up with Tua and Jim, and a mysterious figure who would not tell you their name. Um, and they had made up, you guys had made up a plan with them to get your ship back to the dock and rescue Captain Asmo. Uh, heading down into the underground of the mayor's house, uh, you had gone to Asmo, but first, a giant. Boule stood in your way, and as that had happened, you had dealt with it fairly easily, although Yodale got a giant uh, bite in the butt, um, and you all are now standing in that underground area, Asmo chained to the floor, and he says, you really did not have to do that, you could have just left me. We don't leave anybody behind, and I go to... Can I pick the lock? Do I have... Who has lock picks on this thing? Who has... Oh, okay. Uh, Yodelay. 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 In the room. Come on, yeah, come back person. down here. The, the uh, Yodelay, come back down here. The boule is taken care of. Uh, we need to get the uh, oil of etherealness on. Asmo? Okay. Yeah. And so... So you switch plate. Yeah, so you swap places with your Echo, and you're now down here, and you see the giant body of the Boule dead on the ground. Um, and I'll hand you the oil of etherealness while I relieve myself on the corpse. Yeah, <laughs> so I'll go over and... Uh, you have swat. to defile the corpse completely, otherwise they'll come back. I believe that. I've heard that. So uh, we probably put the oil of etherealness on... Wait, what was the, so, the little uh, breath weapon that he had? I would like to examine the corpse, please. Maybe a uh, Arcana check. I will give a guidance. Uh, there we go. A twelve. Um. Yeah, you cannot tell. You did not even get to see it in action, so I'm gonna say you cannot tell what it would have done, and you uh. You can attempt to get it out if you wish. Uh, if I don't even know what it does, I'm reticent to try to put my hands in there, but I would like to take another boule claw and give it to my monk friend. Okay. Yeah, because that lets you cast jump once a day. Yes, Excellent. all right. Um, so that you would be very useful. Okay, so and so, so once we lather Asmo yeah. in the etherealness, we don't have to worry about the chains. He can just walk right through Correct. it. Right. right. And as he drifts away and you lather him, it takes about 10 minutes to fully lather him. 
um, as he drifts away, he says, Thank you, I'll meet you back at the ship. We'll see you at and the ship, get it ready. Wait, out of here. where's the ship? Where's the ship? <laughs> Where can we park? <laughs> Dude, where's um, my ship? <laughs> uh, remind me, did you leave to our gym a uh, 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 earpiece? Gym. Yeah, so gym gym, when we left. Yes. Jim communicates that we are on our way back now. Um, hurry quickly before uh, anybody figures out what our plan is. Let's book it. Yeah, let's say I'll, I'll say you won't even need the checks to get out. As oh, basically, did... the mysterious figures just kind of distracting all the guards. Uh, at this point, the mysterious figures like doing these weird like card tricks um, to try to distract oh, them. Like, still look over here. Look over here. Yeah, He's there's about a juggling. dozen or so in the building. Yeah. Um, okay. So as you guys actually as as you as you go, I'm gonna set the place on fire. Well, this is still the mayor's house. Are you house. sure this, you want to do that? We don't. There's just the mayor's not in cahoots with them. I'd say Mayor Tislo. Mayor Tislo uh, is we actually. Were set up. We were set up to come in there, and the guy was the bait. Captain Asthma was the bait. Yes, but that has nothing to do with the mayor. This has to do with William and and the people from. Okay, let me explain this because you guys would know this. But a fire would be distracting the, to all the guards as we made our escape. The guards have, the guards have nothing to do with the monster. That is all William. Uh, the guards, as far as they're concerned, are just trying to stop criminals. They are good people. You're making an argument for the stormtroopers on the Death Star. Yeah, Aiden, I, th I think we we've, we've told you. I mean, it's up to of, you. We. We it's up to you. we toe you like to the line of neutral, chaotic, but not evil, which is burning down the mayor's house inside of. So I say we just run. Okay, so we He's have already one. Being we have one per run. What are the rest of you voting? Run, 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 run. Nobody Black ever wants to burn I, down anything. I'm I'm running. If Alex, if Yoda lay it burns down in the house, yeah, I don't. There's nothing I can do. I, I think that's okay. more. I think that's more of where I sit. Is I'm not going to stop Yoda lay. Yoda lay. What it, are you? So you were the, like, you, were the you were the last one out of the house. What are you doing? There you go. Nobody was it. arguing about me burning down the house when it was my plan earlier. They were all like, "Cool, do it." Okay, hey, Yoda What are you doing? Oh, I'm dropping an alchemist fire. I'm going to smash it on the roof. Okay. And, and as that happens, you see, you see a lot of the guards look up and you appear to slip away as you hear a lot of commotion coming from inside the burning building like, Get water! Get water! Oh gosh, it's on fire! Oh gosh, they, they attacked us! Where are they? Oh gosh! Already gone. Okay. And, and as you're making your way back the to the ship... fire and it spreads. And now they won't be looking for no escape captain. Um, that covers as, our tracks nicely. And as that happens, uh, and you're heading back to the docks, you see the docks off in the distance. But before you can make your way completely back there, you come across something. Yeah. All right. I think I'm sure I'm going to do that. built. I'm going to, as I'm of last to session. Do. Place yourselves right over here, and you what see in front of that? you a what I will describe as a wyvern, a shadowy wyvern, and upon the back of it, William. He appears to be wearing the armor you saw him in the first time, the dark, dark plate mail, and he appears to carry a spear this time. And, but he doesn't wear the helmet you saw him in first. Instead, you just see him, his normal face. But where um, Yuri had shot him is now an eye patch over the eye. Uh -huh. And I he see. looks... And he looks at you and says, All right, listen to me now. I'll make a proposal to you, monster hunters. I'm sorry, you'll have to speak up. I can't hear Cyclopses. You surrender now, and I will not do anything more. You all will be arrested, and your city will be safe. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, uh, William, what this, this word surrender, 
What does that mean? Yeah, I you know you know what that means. Perception. I Yuri. know you know what that means. Yuri, shoot him in the other eye. Okay, we're gonna go on initiative. <laughs> As... Yuri, give him our response. <laughs> Yuri, uh, hold on a second, I need to adjust something, because Yuri would be going before William. Alright, it is the Drake's turn. As I got a nat 20 on initiative. Nice. Uh, is, is this the singing Drake or the acting Drake? Um, it used to be in the grassy, Ooh, it's nighttime, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Nice yeah. You guys are having issues seeing the Drake. Oh. They are? As I you have guys, guys are. Night. Well, other than. No, uh, anyone with dark vision or devil sight, you cannot, but uh, Yodelay, you're fine. Yodelay's fine. You hear that, guys? I'm fine. We're just going to fly 60 <laughs> feet towards you. Mm -hmm. um, and it is about 30 feet up in the air. Um, oh, it gets that apparently. It is going to also use this surge of energy to move an additional 60 feet as it is still about 30 feet above you. And let's see here 60 feet. Twenty foot radius. So all of a sudden, you see it exude this dark necrotic energy from its mouth. As let me get that area of effect out. As that blob is hit with this dark necrotic, actually, uh, dark cold energy. As I need you guys to make me Constitution saving throws. I didn't have to be constitution. I'm so constitution. We may be constipated after this. Yeah. 21. 21? 16. 16? Teen. I need Arlu to make it. Oh, that's now luck for Arlu. Uh, sorry, I accidentally deleted that. Um, so, uh, who got a 14 or lower? Arlube. Arlube. Arlube, okay. The rest of you will take 21 points of cold damage. Arlube takes 42, and he falls unconscious. Or not. He's not dead. He's unconscious. Okay, good. As... Uh, any magical, uh, non-magical light is snuffed out. I don't think any of you not have non-magical light, so. Uh, it is now, Yuri, your turn. As I would this... assume the dragon, I would know that the dragon has true sight. Am I correct on that? Maybe a nature check. A nature check. Thirteen. Looking at it, you're not sure, but this is not a dragon. This is a, this is a drake. Um, okay. Which is the basically wings, a lesser dragon. The wings are uh, the, the arms. They don't have wings and arms. Okay, so I will do this. Um, so I'm going to, to sharpshoot or three shots at our William friend. Okay. But as I'm uh, doing that, I am going to look at its eyes and run 15 feet back and forth. Does it see me because uh, of my Gloomstalker ability where if you are using dark vision to see me, I'm invisible? Um, it does appear to see you. Does appear to see me. Okay. That was a long way of saying, does it see me? Uh, okay. So I does the... Uh, I can hit William. I can see William just fine. Am I correct? Yep. Okay. So, three sharpshooter shots. By the way, he can I also mean, see you, it appears. So, if that affects anything. Well, I was hoping for advantage on him. That is... I am, when, I, when I kill him, I am going to do an autopsy and find out why he can see me. Um, but, will a 16 hit? 
16 will not hit. 22. 22 will hit. Okay, so... That's going to be I need another D8. As that's my third shot. D8. Uh, <laughs> nothing. Okay, so 26. Uh, okay, it's so bonus action. Hunter's Mark. Three shots. Third shot is my extra one on my first round. So that is going to be 27 points of damage to William. Okay. It, and anything else? I will pass turn. He is going to legendary action. Um, you see him all of a sudden become this sort of displaced figure as any attacks at him now have disadvantage. So, uh, it is his turn actually. And he is going to. Let's see here. You see him slip into the darkness and teleport over here. What, man? Because you are going to die for this, as he points to his eye. That is all he can do. Oh no, along with that he gets one melee attack. Which I think will be a miss for a 15. 15 misses. Okay. That'll be his turn. As Arlen. I look over to Alaxador. I say, Alaxador, take care of Arloob, and I will shadow step next to William and attack with my... Umber Knuckles, uh, because I shadow stepped, I would get advantage, but I'm at disadvantage because he's done some it's kind of straight weird roll. thing. So straight roll. 21 to hit. That'll hit. Nine points of bludgeoning damage. I need a con save. Nine points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Constitution saving throw coming right in. That'll be an 18. 18 saves. Uh, second Umber Knuckle attack. This one will be a disadvantage. Twelve. Twelve, that will miss. And uh, I try to get him to come at me instead of Yuri. But that's all I can do. Maybe an uh, intimidation check? Yeah. Thirteen. That depends on how you go to that one. So. All right, we'll see on his turn. Pass turn. Total. Yodel. Okay. Uh, it would behoove me to get over there and kill the wizard. But let's do that then. There's now a riderless wyvern. Yeah, yeah. That's a rodeo clown scene that you want to happen. Because <laughs> I know you so well, Yodel. But then I would be on the back of a wyvern. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the only one that can really see said wyvern. Yeah, I'm not really. All right. I'm going to move over here my 40 feet to okay. get uh, that poor uh, cleric out of the way of my oops, 60 foot cone. Where's the thing? The spin it. There it is. Wham! So yeah, I'm gonna throws, blast him. You're gonna blast him with the. Um, I need a the, uh, Constitution save, please. Oh, no, wait. Is this the is it is this the sonar blast? Oh yeah, the sonic pulse again. Okay. Con save. Uh, does it have legendary resistance? It does not. That is a five. Awesome. Then it. Oh, takes sorry, all eight. 20, it takes all twenty-one. Of the sonic damage, and it is stunned until the end of its next turn. It's 30 feet up in the air, so it's going to take fall damage on the start of its turn. Boom! Thud! Plex As it is now a Laxdor's turn. 
Um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, bonus action healing word and yell out to Arlu run and so I will roll that healing for Arlu preferably to the boat <laughs> that's going to be six points of healing to Arlu okay, he's back up uh huh. So that is my bonus action, and that was a spell, so I can't do anything bigger. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, I'm just going to use my breath weapon. As I open my mouth and I breathe at the dragon, or sorry, the wyvern, uh, and it needs to make a dex uh, saving throw. How far does your how far does your fifteen feet? Fifteen feet? feet. So it's just in it. Okay. It's a fifteen foot cone, because uh, he is on the ground since he is stunned. But I believe because he is stunned and incapacitated, he cannot make that saving throw. Okay. Automatically fails, so he will take all of the damage. What type of damage was the sonar damage? Uh, Yodelay? You're muted. I don't know, because my dogs are loud. Uh, yep. it takes thunder damage. Thunder damage? Thunder! I was gonna say, it takes sound right. thunder. damage. Thunder! Bring the thunder! All right, the uh, last energy sword. and the thunder. As you hit it necrotic. with yep. necrotic energy, it does not appear to affect it. Okay, ah. cool. Uh, I turn to the group and say, "I'm useless against that thing," and I will then move over towards this one, two, three, and just double checking here distances. Yep. That's where I'm going to go. That is my turn. Arlu is going to use half his movement to stand up 15 feet this way. Action dash over here behind the Odalay. As it is the Drake's turn, it is par uh, how long is it paralyzed for? Or stunned for? End of its turn. End of its turn? Okay. End of its turn. So, Yuri, it is your turn. Okay, so because it's no longer stunned or incapacitated or whatever that was, that would give me advantage. I am going to point my bow straight into this guy's eye and disadvantage attack him. Okay. Because you can't have double disadvantage. Um, so that's going to be a 16 to hit him. That'll miss. That'll miss. Yeah, uh, I am uh, two arrows fly past his head, and nothing happens. Okay. Fast turn. It is his turn. He is no longer in the uh, the wispy sort of look anymore, as he is going to... Um, he's going to make three melee attacks at you. At the ranger? Yep, yeah, at you. That's that's not on the first class. one. Uh, hit for the second. A hit for the third. So that will be. I will silvery barbs one of the hits. Okay. Uh, Arlen, you have advantage. That'll be, still be a twenty-two to hit you. Okay. How much damage? Uh, it is thirty points damage. Okay. Uh, and your speed is reduced by ten until the start of your next turn, okay. or until the end of your next turn. End of my next turn. Okay. I have 25 feet movement. Um, that'll be his turn as Arlen. Okay, we'll start with the Umber Knuckles at advantage. Because thanks to Alaxador. A 15. That's that'll miss. miss. I am going to, this is going to be weird, but bonus action, shadow step to here. 
and make my second attack with advantage. Advantage, yeah. Fourteen. That'll miss. And that was else, a, nothing above a seven in four rolls. Four forty twenties. Pass turn. All right. Yodelay, your turn. You know, I have a drake on the ground in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to uh, get up on top of him and bring my echo up to him. And I am just going to go whole hog on this guy. Okay. Uh, let's see here. And he is no longer stunned, I don't think, right? Right. Right. So that's an 18 to hit. That'll hit. For 15 damage. Okay. 31 to hit. That'll hit. That was almost a crit. Uh, for ooh, max damage there, 18 damage. Okay. And then unleash my echo. Oh, 14 to hit. That will miss, unfortunately. All right, and then I shall uh, bonus action second wind to get some health back for 17 healing. See, clerics, that's how it's done. <laughs> uh, as of the lax door's turn. Hey, uh, I, I just want it known that I am finishing my turn in the saddle that that dude was riding on. Okay. All right then. So something strange happens here as Alaxador uh, begins to pray uh, to the Lady of the Night. <laughs> as his spirit guardians come out. Normally they have been dark. The Ghostbusters theme was apropos. Everything, but this time you notice they are shedding a bright light. Uh, so this time they will be doing radiant damage, Aiden, instead of the normal necrotic that I have been doing. Okay. Um, and I will move over. And as a bonus action, I get big again. So you would, wouldn't mind that you making me big. And this is William, yes? Yes. Okay. Then that is my turn, as I will put on my aura of 15 feet. Boom. All right. Legendary action for William. He's going to stab at Yuri uh, for a... Uh, 22 to hit? Uh, barely hits. Uh, 15 points of damage. <laughs> it is now Arlube's turn. Uh, Arlube is going to look at you. Go to Yuri, assuming you're in range. I think just barely in wreckage, actually. It is going to healing word you. For 6 points of healing. As he says, don't give up, Yuri! And he's going to move 30 feet this way. As it is the Shadow Drake's turn. Um, Alright, uh, let's see if he gets that back. Okay, it's going to bite you, uh, Yodelay. At disadvantage. That'll be I'm a. I'm on the one spot of his back that he can't bite. Uh, he has a very long neck. Uh, 21 to hit. <laughs> yeah. 22 points of damage. And then you see its tail whip around and hit you as well. As this one's just straight roll. Jeez, that's a over 20 to hit. Okay. For 19 points of damage. As that is the creature's turn. Um, actually, it is going to. No, it, that's, that's an action. It can't do that. Um, so. 
It is now uh, actually another legendary action coming from William. Attack at you, Yuri. That'll be a 25 to hit. Yeah. 15 Over points of damage. Uh, Arlen takes the advantage. That'll be a 17 to hit. Still hits. 15 <laughs> points of damage. 15. Yep. Uh, um, hold on. One second. I need to see. Is that a, yeah, never mind. It's a reaction. 15 points of damage. Who gets the advantage? I do. I gave it to Arlen. <laughs> because unfortunately, your disadvantage doesn't matter if I gave you advantage, it would just cancel out. As Yuri, it is your turn. Okay, so I finally got one thing to hit. I assume a 21 hits? A 21 does hit. Whew. I, uh, I had two natural 20s on my rolls and uh, uh, on two different ones. So uh, that is uh, altogether 24 points of damage. Uh, nice. As I, uh, <laughs> in his face, he's like bouncing around trying to shoot him in the face. And I get one, uh, one of my shots off. Pass turn. Okay. I feel less Williams lethargic turn. now as I uh, have my full speed. All right. William's turn. He's going to make attacks at you. Yep. I think that'll be a miss for a 14. That misses. 19 on the die. Yep. And then a 15. That misses. All right. So 15 points of damage. Yep. Uh, when I uh, when he's attacking me. Do I feel that he is using strong? Is he strong or is he dexterous? He is. He is strong. He's strong. Okay. As oh, he Victor's... also he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, um, for the... the spirit guardians. Okay. Uh, wisdom save. Uh, yes, sir. That will be a 14? No, 15, uh, sorry. Fail. 15 succeeds, so he'll take half this damage. Okay. So he'll take 7. 7? Okay. Mm -hmm. Radiant damage? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, it is now Arlen's turn. Okay. Umber Hulks with advantage. 15. Don't miss. Um, I'm just going to go straight rolls here. Umber Hulk. Attack. 20. That'll hit. 13 points of slashing damage. I need a con saving throw. Okay. Con saving throw. 17 on the die. What you needed. Uh, Umber Hulk's bonus action uh, flurry of blows. Net one. And a 14. On this. Sorry, guys. I'm useless. You're okay. Uh, Pastor. Yoda, Yoda late is your turn. Alrighty then. Let's see here. I was uh, looking into something. Uh, Well, while I'm on the back of this dude, I'm just going to keep hacking away, I guess. That's the best thing to do. Uh, 28 to hit for sword damages. 13 damage. Okay. Uh, 28 to hit again for 9 damage. And okay. finally, my last echo unleashing for 18 to hit. That'll hit. Oh, I want to chop this dude's heads off. Uh, 12 damage. That Drake is looking pretty bad. Uh, let's see here. I need to move my Echo uh, 30 feet over here by Arlug and then swap places with it. Okay. Um, Alax Alax Storm, it's your turn. Careful. I am actually really quickly legendary action from William to stab at Eerie. Yep. Permits. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, I am going to reach forward and attempt to um, attack with the Staff of Withering um, okay. on William. 
for a 21 to hit. That'll hit. Wonderful. I'm going to pump a charge into this. Does it do necrotic damage? It does. Don't even consider rolling it. Okay. Well, that was information I needed to know. So, uh, here we go. It's still going to do extra damage because I'm big. So... So that is going to be 10 points of damage. Okay. And, Anything else? Uh, bonus action, I will cast Spiritual Weapon. So I'll bring out my Spiritual Weapon, and it will attack uh, William. Okay. Eleven to hit misses. That's my turn. Okay. Legendary action. Back at Fury. It'll be a twenty-five to hit. Uh, uh for fifteen points of damage. As Yuri goes down. As it is Arlube's turn. Uh healing word at Yuri. Actually. Arlub needs to help Yodele. Yeah. Uh, That's why Yodele stayed so Cure wounds. Help. Cure wounds at Yodele. Uh, eight points of healing to Yodele. Okay. Uh, legendary action at... Uh, let's go with the Laxor this time. As he does not appear to be entertained by you at all, Arlen. Um, two on the die, so that'll miss. As it is the Drake's turn. Oh, hey, where are we at on time? Uh, thirty-five minutes. We've got ten minutes. We'll pause, right? Yeah. Can we pause. No, I'm just. I was thinking we were closer to that forty-five. All right. Uh. Yodele, you moved away, so... Uh, My echo's on the back. I need all of you to make con saves. And including you, Yuri. Didn't they just automatic fail? I think so. Yeah, well, it doesn't it, matter anyways. Is it two death failures if you take damage? I believe on that? two. One, unless it's a crit hit. And I got a nat one on my con save. It's, a, it's Yeah, it's, it's only two. one. Two. It's two if you get hit while you're down. I thought that was just from melee attacks because those are crits. Everything else is just one. Okay. Heard. Uh, I believe so. I'm looking uh, it up right now. I'll take one off you just, as you keep okay. going through. You you figure it out, Yuri. Um, I got a twelve. I failed too. Okay. We all failed. Each of you takes 42 points of cold damage. You need a healing potion. Sure. 42? 42. How are you guys looking? Not good. As Spirit Guardian is gone. As it is Yuri's turn. Did you figure out? Did you look up the rule, Yuri? I'm still working on. I'm. I'm going to. Okay, so uh, move on to uh, to the next one. As soon as I figure this out, I will bring it back. Okay, we'll come back to you. Yeah. William is going to look at you, Alaxador, and is going to. Oh uh, no, no, no! Andrew is correct in this instance. Okay, so you have one death failure. If you take any damage here. while you have zero hit points, you suffer a death saving throw failure. If the damage is from a critical hit, you suffer two. If the Five damage melees. equals or exceeds your hit points maximum, instant death. Okay. Um, oh, what's your hit point maximum, Yuri? That's what I'm looking at right now. No, my, it does not... not uh, 42 my hit is points. not its maximum. No. Yeah. Okay, no. so two or one death failure so far. And then yep. what would you roll? Uh, it's six, so I have two currently. Okay. But you, no one else would know that because I'm. We just know you're really? dying. You just know I'm dying. 
William is going after Alaxdor. 22 to hit Alaxdor. Hits. Um, I will Silvery Barbs. I'll count this next roll that I just did as the Silvery Barbs. So that will be a 17 to hit. That misses. It's a 2 on the die, so that also misses. Good. And a 21. That hits. For 15 points of damage. The Laxador goes down. Are you still big? Uh, that is it's a not great a concentration. Question. It's not concentration. I think, no, I think it just think lasts for a big. minute. Yeah, I think okay. it's still big too. And as that happens, you see William look at you, Arlen, and say, Well, looks like the strongest is left standing. Am I right, Arlen? And Arlen, it's your turn. Oh, yeah. um, I can't really. There's no place I can move. Um, okay, armor knuckle attack. And that one. Second armor knuckle attack. 27. That'll hit. For 12 points of bludgeoning damage, I need a con saving throw. Constitution saving throw. That will be a well. He is stunned. He's going to legendary resist. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. Legendary resisted. So, um, my final umber knuckle attack offhand. Okay. Thirteen. That'll miss. As you see, okay. for his legendary action, he decides to go wispy. Um, and so you will have disadvantage on attack rolls against him. Yeah, I'm not going to get a chance to attack him all on, but that's good. Yodelay. Yeah. Um. All right. I'm on his back, or at least my echo is. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the best thing to do is just take off of George. Oh, that was the right thing to do. Now 20. That'll hit. Dun, 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 dun. Blammo. 19 damages. How do you want to kill it? Yeah. Uh, by cutting off its stupid shadow head. Okay. And then I shall move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And uh, from my angle, I will use my other attack for a... For a smoke bomb right in the middle of them so that that dude can't see anymore. How big is the radius of a smoke bomb? Bloom! I can throw it up to 120 feet away. Right, but so what is the what's the radius? Oh, a 20 foot radius. Right so, down on you? No, 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 around us. Uh, uh, around the yeah. yeah, around us. Okay. So that that guy can't see anymore. And uh, let's see here. I can. I think that's all I got right now. Yeah, that's all I got right now. Okay. A lax door. That saving throw. Alright, I'm sending all my good vibes to Yuri. Success. Success? Okay. Arlube's turn. He is says to Yodele, I'm not leaving you guys, and he's going to uh healing word on you. At a second level. A hit a healing word. Can he do healing word on 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 Yuri? He can't, he can't because he can't he, see me. He can't see. He could do. He could do Alexa. Oh, he can't see Alexa because of the smoke nope. bomb. I'll tell you. That's why I went. That's whenever he uh -huh. did the smoke bomb. I, I went. Mm. So. I mean, it was a great idea. Just 
Ugh. Seven points of healing to you, Yodelay. And as we have two dying, one through a smoke bomb, one is attempting to try to go and heal, and Arlen is fighting for his life. And William's having a great time. That's where we'll have to pick up next time. <laughs>